Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be doing a classic YouTube tag. I'm going to be doing the what is on my iPhone. So the phone that I have is the iPhone 5S. The case that I have on here is by InCase, which I'll leave the link for down below if you guys want to check it out. And I'm just going to be using this video to kind of run through how I organize and what apps I use. And of course, the most important question, how I edit my Instagram photos. So this is my home screen here. I just have a really adorable picture of my boyfriend and his nephew from when he was currently out of town. And then when I slide it open, I have all my apps. Okay, so when I open the first page, this is just my general page here. I have most of my social stuff, but um, just for to go along the bottom here, I have my text messages, my Twitter app, my Instagram, and then this is Studio. This is for YouTube, so I can kind of keep track of everything that you guys are doing on my page and any comments you guys have. And then on this first page here, I keep my calendar that way just in case I ever click it open I need to know what day it is. It's right here. I have, of course, YouTube, Google+, Tumblr, Facebook, Pages, which is really fun. If you guys have never used this, um, what you use this one for is if you have a page on Facebook, it links all that information to you so that way you can kind of post personally to anybody who's liking your page and you can kind of tra keep track with up-to-date things. It's a very fun app. So there's that one. I have Messenger for Facebook, which I don't really like. I prefer the messages in the app, but, you know. Of course, I have to have Snapchat. I have Bloglovin, which I adore this app if you guys have never tried it. What this is, is basically you can follow all of your favorite blogs in one place. So you don't have to keep checking, like, WordPress or any other site. It just links all of the stuff that you love on here. So as you guys can see, I have quite a few and it just lets you know when people post new stuff. It's quite a fun thing. So there's that. I have my WordPress account to keep track of my blog. I have my Pinterest Vine. Um, this guy, this is called Sosh. And what it is supposed to be is, I haven't even set it up yet, um, it's supposed to tell you all about new things and fun stuff that's happening in your city, so I have to give that a try. I have Depop, which if you guys have never tried this app, you totally should check it out. I know it's probably... Um, this similar to some of the other apps out there, but basically you sell things that you don't like, um, and you can kind of go through and check out other things that people are trying to sell. Um, I have a couple things on my Depop, so if you guys want to make this app, um, follow me. There's some great people on here that are selling some adorable looking things, like look at this camera. So I adore that app. I'm on it all the time. In this little folder here, I call it Shopaholic, <laughs> because basically I have all kinds of fun stuff like eBay, Sephora, Ulta. This app here is called Think Dirty, and this app, what it does is it tells you how high of a risk that certain products have. So for instance, while it's loading... <laughs> But Think Dirty is basically an app that tells you all of the ingredients that is in products. And it also lets you know like if you're at high risk or low risk for any kind of allergies or anything. So I love this app. It's really awesome. Then I have Amazon and Urban Outfitters in this folder. Then when I kind of slide over, I kind of have more classic um, iPhone stuff. Like I have the phone and I have Safari, my camera, and photos. Down here on the second row, I have all of my photography apps that I use. So I have iPhoto, which I have linked to my computer and my iPad. Um, I have Ro... I don't even know how to say that. Ronana Rodonda. This is pretty awesome. This is how I basically use my... create my thumbnails for my um, YouTube channel. And basically what you can do is you can kind of go in and choose just any random photo like that one that got vetoed. <laughs> um, but then you can make the measurement for it. And then you can kind of go in here and you can add text. So you can just use this one. Hello. And then you can kind of make it any way you want. You can add outline, shadow, all kinds of fun stuff. And it just gives it like this really fun kind of look. So I like this app. 
Um, I use that one quite often. And then I have Afterlight, Thistle Cam, which everybody loves, but I haven't really gotten into very well yet. Um, I have Antique. I have Delight, which is a new app that I'm trying, and I have to say I really like it. If you guys are looking for a simpler way to edit photos, this one has quite a lot of fun stuff in here. And I'm really impressed so far in the way that it allows you to edit stuff. It's very simple, so it's not too crazy. Let's see. Um, and then I have Modive, which I just added the Photo Grid um, app. This one, if you guys have never tried a Photo Grid, I really like because you can add videos in it as well, so that's really fun. Um, then I have just some other a couple ones. I haven't don't really use these ones. I do use this one, Free Prints. Um, if you sign up using this app, you get sent free prints once a month for 12 pictures, so I do that every month religiously. If you guys have ever wanted to know how I do my borders on a lot of my pictures, which I do get questions on, I'll use Afterlight most of the time, but basically I'll just kind of go ahead and pick. Um, I used that one yesterday. We'll just do this. Funny photo of some flowers. So then you can kind of go in here and you can just pick like anything that you want to. Ooh, that's pretty. We'll do that. So like saturating, there are all kind of buttons in here. Then you can kind of go in here, and these are filters. I love these ones because they kind of make them a little washed and they brighten the colors. Um, and then you can go to like adding the lights, like the pretty like slashes of light into stuff. So that's always fun. But then I go ahead and go to crop, and I do this a lot for Instagram. So you can have the option of cropping it to square. So that's what the size would be for Instagram. And then I kind of go over here to borders and I go to original and I click regular border and you can make it as thick or small as you want. I love this thickness personally. Or you can do like those, you can do the rounded one, all kinds of fun stuff. This one is my favorite but I never can figure out how a way to use it. So that's how I do those. So that's the app I use mostly for editing my photos on Instagram, um, but I am trying out some new things just to kind of give it a try. I just downloaded this one, and it's very similar to the other app I was showing you guys, but um, it's supposed to be way fun. Oh, I don't know what that word is. What? There. Cutie. And then you can, oops, you can use it to change the color of the, the words, so cutie. Then you can make the font different, Let's see. So this is supposed to be way a great thing. So I might be switching to using this one more. But I just want to show you guys that. So this is a fun new app. Then I have Starbucks and in here I have my music stuff. So I have music, Spotify, Soundhound, and Songkick. And then I have my Fitbit which I've talked about a couple times. If you guys would like to more know about all my Fitbit stuff I do have a blog post on it which I'll leave the link down below. Then I have Eatly. If you guys have never tried this and you guys are attempting to be more healthy this is a great app to try. So see, this is what I ate this morning for breakfast, which is, might be a little TMI, but so I had a cup of coffee and I had an English muffin with Nutella and I had some grapes. So what you do is you take a picture of something and then it posts it to Eatly. So you leave like a little info and you help people decide whether their meal has been healthy or unhealthy. So this person's eating homemade veggie whole wheat pizza. Mmm pretty healthy I have to say and then once people kind of go through and tell you all about what they're eating you can come over here to stats and you can kind of see how well you've been doing so um, last week I ate kind of naughty so I'm eating 28% less healthy which is probably not not the greatest but so that's all the stuff that I've been eating lately as you can tell there's a cup of coffee in every photo but that's how I kind of keep track of my meals so it really helps. This app here is called Book Buddy and as you guys might know my book collection is quite extensive so this app I really love because basically it saves all the books that I have read or anything that I'm reading to Dropbox so anytime I add a book it's there permanently in my Dropbox so I can open it on my phone, on here, on my computer, anywhere 
at all. And I can just kind of go through and see what books I'm reading, what books I have. That way I don't repurchase something. Like this one, this one was cute. Let's see. For instance, if you guys haven't read this book, this is Scar Tissue. Really good book. Um, and it kind of gives me a little description on it. So that way I remember um, what it is. Oh, it says unread, but I read it. Um, and it just kind of gives you all that. So it also tells you what series that you own and you get to kind of add them in so like the Harry Potter series um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, Pretty Guardians which I have all these I just haven't added them yet um, all kinds of stuff, The Hunger Games, Looking Glass Wars so those are all the series that I've added so far I have like three bookshelves in my house so I haven't finished but I have that, I have Any Do in here which is just kind of a list app. Um, I have to say I'm not too impressed with it but it's okay. Um, you can kind of make lists and then go through and look at stuff that you need to do inside of that. So it's pretty organized but it notifies you every five seconds which kind of irritates me. So I leave that one there. And then on my third page here I have my mail apps and then I have Level and Wells Fargo. Um, Level is pretty cool. You link all of your bank accounts together and you basically tell it how much you make a month and what your basic bills are and then it tells you how much each week you should save in case you're going on a trip. It's actually pretty handy. Then I have Evernote and Dropbox and Passable which is okay for a password app. I have Daily Horoscopes which I haven't looked at today. Let's take a look what it says. Someone may have fooled you, Virgo. You aren't easily fooled. But this individual may have come off as the nicest person around. Someone who would bend over backwards to help anyone who needed assistance. But you may find yourself surprised and disappointed soon. You may even feel foolish for believing. Hmm. Look for a silver lining. Doesn't sound like a very good horoscope, does it? Oops. And then I have Blogalani's. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, I'll leave her link in my box. But she's amazing. I do her Blogalani's training twice a week, and basically she just kind. She's a YouTuber who helps you eat clean. She shows you what workout moves to do. And in this one, so this is my, oops, this is my workout calendar, and I don't really use this too much. But um, basically, what you can do is you can go through and it tells you what workouts you should be doing throughout the month. Um, really helpful. Then in here I have games. I don't have very many games, but I uh, love Quiz Up. If you guys have ever tried it, you guys should play me against the friends. I'm like a master. So this app is probably my favorite for games, the Quiz Up app. And then I have um, Elevate, which is supposed to help you like with your learning. And then Harmony 2, which I haven't really gotten into, but I still have it. Um, then I have my news apps in here. So I have Circa, Newsify, The Chive, and The Indiegogo. This app I just recently got. Basically what it does is if you are looking at any like causes or petitions or anything, you use this app to keep track of them. So it notifies you how things are going, um, how many signatures, if it got promoted, anything like that. So I really like this especially for things like Save the Wildlife and all those kind of um, campaigns. Then this is my last um, folder here and I just have the settings, the clock, the contacts. In this folder here I have extra junkety stuff. So I have like the calculator, the voice memos, I have a recorder to record my advice if needed for videos, um, videos, <laughs> symbols, the extra keyboard thing, and weather. Then I have the news, Google Maps because I always get lost, the Apple Store and iTunes. And that's pretty much everything that is on my phone. Okay guys, so that's basically my entire cell phone. If you guys have any questions or want to know if anything more about how I use this or how I organize it, please let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!